Hi, I'm Brian Reeves. I am coming to you from my power spot just by my home in Calabasas, California. Uh, please don't ask me about the Kardashians. I have never seen them. Uh, that's the thing that people are always asking me about. The Kardashians. Uh, they don't come up here anyway, as far as I can tell. There's no Kardashians up here. But I want to talk to you today about love. The question, how do you love? This is uh, something I've been exploring in my blog post recently, uh, getting a lot of attention and a lot of comments and... and um, It's really dawned on me big time, deeply, in the last few years, how, how ignorant we all are, particularly around love. We, we live in this culture of this idea that I'm going to get love from outside me, right? As long as the world shows up a certain way, people do a certain thing, they act in certain ways, then I feel love, right? So we, we, we manipulate, control, dominate uh, complain and do all these kinds of behaviors, all these types of negative toxic behaviors that hurt our own bodies in order to get love from outside of us. And this is a stage one love experience. And I've been writing about this evolution of, of, of love that we go through, these three stages. And, you know, we're all innocent in our ignorance. Nobody teaches us this stuff. And so in this stage one love, we're, we're endlessly frustrated. Right, the, the stage one experience in our intimate relationships, that's the, we kind of have the mantra with our partners, if you love me, then you would do this. And then when our partners don't do that, because they're human and they got their own agenda, they're living out their own program, their own experience, and so they don't do this thing, and then we don't feel loved, and we're upset, and we're angry. Right, and, and if you've ever had someone say that to you, you know how infuriating and frustrating that is. And yet we're doing it right back to them, constantly, right? And eventually we get to this place of realizing that, wow, this, this, this kind of love doesn't work. I don't feel good ever, or I might for a minute, but then my partner does something and it collapses, right? So we grow disillusioned and then we, we hit it, we, we, we graduate to stage two love. And I talked to a, a beautiful young woman today who was kind of going through what feels like that transition in the sense that there's just no man that can really meet her where she wants to be met. No man can kind of give her the love that she's aching for. And so she's kind of fed up, right? And this is what happens. We get fed up and we think, you know what? I don't need a man or I don't need a woman. I'm going to love myself. I got this. I got me. I don't need anybody to take care of me. I take care of myself. And then we we'll still get into relationships because, you know, the sex is good and the relationship is good and we, we love it. We're drawn to it. There's something there for us. But we're like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to give of myself cautiously. I'm not going to show up fully because when I do that, disappointment, disillusionment follows. And that sucks. And I don't want to play that game. So, you know, I'm not going to get in too deep. So we love safe in this stage too. We love safe. And then eventually that safety stagnates and we're like, well, this is, you know, this is kind of, is this all there is? You know, we only love because we're getting love. You know, it's a kind of a 50-50 trade. And once we realize, wow, well, there's got to be something more. If we're lucky and we're doing our work and we're doing our spiritual practice and we're connecting to a source of love or God or, or spirit or something, nature, universe, whatever, but something, some source of love and connection that is not dependent on the outside world, on people and how things look. And we ignite that little spark of love that is, that is latent. We discover the truth of who we are. You know, we're conscious stardust, y'all. We come from the stars. We are each little pieces of, of billions of suns walking around with eyeballs and ears and mouths to say silly things. Like what I'm saying, it's all silly. When we wake up to that and we discover the love that we already are, well, welcome to stage three love. And we just get to show up and, and give our gift and just radiate our love into the world and love people however they show up. Doesn't mean we got to hang out with them if they're going to be ridiculous and abusive and just act in ways that don't feel good and aren't fun. But we just get to give our love in our intimate relationships. We just get to give the gift of our love. 
and we attract people who want to give the gift of their love and then we're in this beautiful juicy dance this flow of energy where we both are just showing up and giving our gifts and just I mean that's that's what all of us are aching for it's juicy so <clears throat> I know some of y'all are probably going to want to share this. Hopefully I've done an all right job of, of, of kind of talking through it really briefly. I've been exploring it more in my blog at, at brianreeves.com, brian with a y, reeves.com. But some of you are probably wanting to share this video and send this to somebody and say, see, you love me like stage one because <laughs> you only love me to get. And that's cool. I mean, I really want you to share this. This is good stuff. Uh, but just notice the energy with which you're sharing it how are you loving and how you share this video are you sharing it because this is your gift or are you sharing it because you're trying to get something from somebody from this you want someone to love you differently and that's why you're going to share it I know because I've been there I know I see you I see you because I see me I see me Can you hear that music ice cream man's coming it's time <laughs> so share this because we're all waking up to the love that we are. And that's what we're here to do. We're not here to just make money and put our names on a building and, and do big extravagant things and have big homes, all these rich homes around here. That's not what we're here for. We're here to give our gift and to live fearlessly who we are, who we came here uniquely to be and express in our lives. And that is, that is love in action. Yeah. Peace, y'all.